Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to a brand new Eurovision 2021 reaction video and judging by my outfit of choice today and judging by that title down below we are looking at Denmark and their entry for the 2021 contest held in Rotterdam. Now last year for the 2020 contest that didn't happen Denmark brought us Ben and Tan and apparently in Denmark that was quite an unlikely duo because she came from a girl band and I'm not entirely sure where he came from, but he was very Ed Sheeran-y. And the song was all right, I do feel like it outstayed its welcome. It started to grate on me the more I heard it. But it had a different vibe and essence to it that the other songs didn't. There was some sort of country pop vibe that I did quite like. But that was then and this is now. And the winner of the DMGP 2021 is... Brrr, Fire and Flame. Wow, that sounds fuego. I did actually listen to a compilation video of all of the entrants for the GMGP and if you've missed out on that guys, click the link at the top there and it'll take you straight to that video. But I can't really remember a lot. The only thing I do know is that I had my heart set on the Cosmic Twins with Silver Bullet because that sounded epic based on the clips that I heard. So this is going to be a brand new experience for me. But what I really want to know guys is what do you think? Were Fire and Flame your favourites to win the DMGP or did you have your heart set on someone else? like the Cosmic Twins. Let me know all of your thoughts, all of your opinions down below in that comment section. I can't wait to get stuck in. But for now, enough chat, let's react. Like I said guys, Fire and Flame, this song sounds like it's gonna be hot, hot, hot. So let's get cracking, let's go. Oh my God, it sounds like something from Miami Vice, straight from the 80s. Even down to the staging, very vibrant. And I love that they're socially distanced on their little plinths. Okay, I don't think this is 80s in a good way, is it? Oh, the strings are really nice though, yes! That dance move was very out there. Just popping and locking. I love that the staging colours match the costume. Oh my god, guys, this sounds like it has been plucked straight from the 80s. And at the minute, it's not in a good way. Guys, it sounds like a theme tune from some sort of 80s show. Oh, they are not doing that. I mean, good on him. He has got the moves, but it's something that should be done at a disco by a dad. Guys, this is not to my taste. This bit is very catchy. The build is the best part of the song. But then it builds and your excitement grows and then the chorus hits and you're like... Eh. Don't know what they're singing about, but it sounds very empowering, I must admit. But the thing is, I feel like they've made a conscious decision to theme it on the 80s. The staging, their costumes, the tacky 80 beats in the background, it's all a bit cliche and very tacky. I mean, it's very positive and feel good, and I could watch it. I'm quite happy with the aesthetics. They're just on mute. I know that sounds awful, but I can't find anything that I like from it. Also, the aesthetic they're going for, it's not exactly a singy song, is it? It's kind of a talky, speaky, kind of rappy, shouty song. Mm, here we go with this. I think it's the outro. This sounds like a summer theme tune of the 80s show. Wow, even that ending. ba da ba Guys! Wow, guys, what can I say? I know I wasn't very complimentary about that song, and I'm so sorry if I've come across rude. But I'm so disappointed. The Cosmic Twins and Silver Bullet were so robbed. When you see something like this winning the whole competition, you think, eh? It was very 80s, but it was very 80s cliche. There was not a lot in there that I could grasp. It wasn't a singy song. It was quite talky, rappy. It was more about their personality and the staging and the aesthetics than it was about the song. There really wasn't a lot there. That sounds like it's come straight from Miami Voice. And if you don't know what that is, ask your parents. It was, it was just a bit cheesy, a bit too much, quite forced. Not my cup of tea. It was, it was a head bopper and it was very positive and they were having a great time, which is good. And I do like his jacket and the lights on the staging, but really not my cup of tea, I'm afraid, guys. I think it's actually my least favorite so far. But that's based on my first reaction and it all could change, who knows? But what I really wanna know, guys, is what do you think? Do you like that song? If you do, please give this video a great big thumbs up so I can see that they do have some supporters out there and you're a fan of Denmark this year. Also, while you're there, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of these videos as they come out thick and fast. 
But that's all from me today, guys. That's all from this video. And all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. One, two, one, two, three, four. I took the sticks and stones and assembled my throne. The king.